Hey y'all, I'm Rick Scott here, and if you're like me, you're probably very excited, but you're probably not that surprised because you probably had a feeling that DJI was likely going to re to uh, to release rather what they released today. And before I continue, I want to let everyone know I've got mine ordered. It'll hopefully be here ASAP. As soon as it arrives, I will do the unboxing. I'll do the first time in the field. If you've watched my previous drone videos, you know I take it out into the field with very, uh, don't know what to expect expectations. I mean, I don't have an agenda. I go out there, I fly for the first time, I video the entire process, and I'll let you tell me what you think while I can currently share with you my experience with the drone. So without further ado, I wanted to say, check the link within this video's description. You can find the DJI Spark. It comes in a variety of different colors. You can get the bundle, you can get the Spark by itself. That's personal preference. I've got the bundle so that I get the controller and the battery and I think prop guards and a few other things. Check the link within this video's description for the specs and what comes with that. What I'm gonna do now is just share with you some of the technical aspects of the Spark and why I'm excited about it. So obviously one of the one of the most fascinating things is the size. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find all of this as well. But it's uh, it's an impressive size. If you thought the Mavic was very small and very portable, which it is, the DJI Spark's even more portable. Now obviously with that enhanced portability comes some sacrifice. You know, this, this uh, DJI Spark is only uh, capable of 1080p video, whereas the Mavic Pro, 4K 30. So my expectation when it comes to video quality from the DJI Spark, I'm already expecting a less awesome video experience. Not just because it doesn't do 4K, but because it's a two axis gimbal instead of a three axis. But again, until mine arrives, until I take it in the field, I don't know what to think. Now the, uh, the battery life, Obviously not as not as good as a as a Phantom 4 or a Mavic Pro. I think their website <clears throat> and I'm looking at their website right now. Again, check the link within this video's description to see for yourself. But I think the battery life is an estimated estimated 16 minutes. So, you know, if you've dealt with previous DJI products, you've probably found that the uh, that the estimated flight time is uh, is often in optimal conditions. And it even says that, but, you know, realistically, looking at this on paper, I might expect, and again, I haven't flown the first flight in the field, stay tuned for that video, but I'm guessing maybe 12 to 14 minutes realistically. So we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Uh, it is, uh, it is neat that you can get the controller with it. Obviously, you know, I mentioned I ordered the bundle, so I will have the controller but if you just get the drone, you don't get the controller. So, you know, check out both the, uh, the purchase options and see what's right for you. I want to use the controller. I just, I like that tactile feel. Uh, now something that's cool, and this again, to be tested, I'll have two batteries for my first field test. So hopefully I'll have enough charge time to, to really run through this. But it says, take amazing aerial photos using just hand gestures. So the hand gesture thing, you know, when I think of that, I immediately think that sounds kind of gimmicky, but given my track record with DJI products, I believe it may work. If you've ever used the, uh, remember when Follow Me first came out with the Phantom, and then, it, and then it became Active Track. It became a better experience, a better user experience. That's kind of my expectation. Without having flown the Spark yet, I'm going to be curious to see how well, right out of the box, those gestures work. That's kind of neat. You know, if you think about it, if you, and that, what I thought was interesting, that you may have seen Sean Coonery's tail pop up in the side of the, inside of the screen there, but uh, what I thought was interesting was the fact that, you know, they even show someone launching the drone for a selfie purpose. You know, you want to do a, a selfie shot. They even show a person launching the drone out of their hand. And that's something that I know a lot of people have done with, uh, previous versions of the drones, like the DJI Phantom and the Mavic Pro, but it's something I've never personally done just because I don't have a high degree of comfort with spinning blades that close to my face and that close to my hands. 
So it's going to be interesting to see with the prop guards attached, will I even feel comfortable launching it out of my hand? And I know a lot of you are probably laughing at me, they're like, man, why don't you, why don't you trust that? Well, you know, if you think about it, if you're eating a, uh, let's say you're eating a salad at a fast food restaurant, you got a plastic knife, you got a plastic fork. That plastic knife, you can still cut yourself with. Now imagine something that's spinning at a high rate of speed hitting your finger. You can really cut yourself. So, I don't know, maybe I'll try it, maybe I won't. But what I'm most excited about, obviously, is the ultra small and ultra lightweight design of the DJI Spark. Because, you know, the Mavic Pro, again, very small, very portable, but this takes it to the next level. Sacrifice. We're not going to get 4K. At least with this initial DJI Spark, we're not going to get 4K. So if, you, if you're a fan of my channel, if you're a subscriber, youtube.com forward slash iRickSky, you're probably aware that I film everything now in 4K. So from a video perspective with the DJI Spark, I'll be taking a step backwards. I mean, 1080p is fine, but 4K is so much better. That was a disappointment for me. But what I can do, I can import the DJI Spark video into my 4K video projects and at least somewhat up convert the 1080p to 4K. Now obviously it's not gonna look as good as native 4K, like one would get with a uh, with a Phantom 4 or a DJI Mavic Pro, but at least you know I can still. I mean it. It becomes a matter of convenience. As small as the Spark is, number one from a perception perspective, you're probably aware at a nas in an international level. Unfortunately, drones have a perception problem. People see a drone and they're like, "Man, that's scary." But people see something like this, and they're like, oh man, that's cute, because it's so small. So maybe the fact that this drone is smaller is a positive. You know, it's easy to it's easy to walk to a safe and responsible location to fly a drone and pull it out, and it'd be something small. And, oh, that's cute. Versus, ooh, I've got the Inspire. Ooh. Boom. And then you pop it out, people look at it. Or even the Phantom 4 for that matter. Phantom 4 is pretty big. You know, it's not easy to it's not easy to just walk into a, a safe and and uh, responsible environment with a drone and and pull it out and not get noticed when you got something that big. So from that perspective stepping back from 4k to 1080p just for the small size and the lesser weight I look at it as a, as a positive now yeah I'm gonna miss 4k you know I'm addicted to 4k and I've been filming in 4k exclusively and I've had a lot of people bash me not as much anymore but in during the early days but like, man why are you filming in 4k nobody has a 4k TV do you that's stupid hey it's future-proofing content and everything that I filmed in 4K, it will be in a format that people will continue to enjoy, to enjoy for a longer period of time. Inevitably, at the time of posting this video, the day that DJI Spark was released in calendar year 2017, it's, uh, you know, 4K TVs are pretty pretty common now, and they're, and they're not that turbo expensive. So you, probably enjoy watching 4K videos more than you do at 1080p. Now step back from 1080p, look at something like SDTV or something along those lines, you're probably gonna turn your nose up at that video because it's, there's such a quality difference. Between 1080p and 4K, there is a very noticeable quality difference, but if you're viewing videos on say a, an iPhone or an Android tab or an Android phone, it's not gonna be as noticeable as someone that's viewing that video on a 4K smart TV, you know, a big screen. So, yeah, you can see I've got a sore spot. <laughs> 4K. Why did they not include 4K? Even though they didn't. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get my hands on this. It's not just because I really plan to make this one of my primary filming tools, 
but I want to see what the smaller size, you know, how can it handle the wind? You know, how stable is the video? How high of quality are the photos? You know, these are things that I want to test because it'll foreshadow where the technology is heading. So basically by, by stating that, I pretty much indicated that I feel that this drone is somewhat already obsolete from a camera perspective. I didn't say anything else except the camera perspective. So that's the sore spot for me, is not having 4K on the camera. But I'm so excited to get my hands on it. Not just am I excited to get my hands on it, but I'm excited for y'all to see the unfiltered experience. You know, I'm not one of these channels that's, ooh, DJI Spark was released today. <laughs> one hour later, videos up, reviewed, previously found. People that had pre-release versions of a drone. And I'm not going to drop names. That's fine. Good for you. You got a drone early. Good for you. But my thing is a drone that I bought that I am using for the first time with realistic expectations. Anything can happen. Obviously, safe and responsible location, but anything can happen. And that's what I share with y'all. And that's the thrill of this. I have been with, um, with Mavic coming out last year and the Phantom 4 Pro, I've had a, I've had a gap, a serious gap. You know, it's like you get addicted to drones and you don't have a new drone and you're, and you're going crazy. It's like, man, when's something going to come out? It's finally arrived and that's the spark. And that's why I'm super stoked just from the experiencing all aspects of what it can and can't do well. That's, that's the thrill for me. So I want to get this video out to confirm you know, I was there ninja, ninja ordering as soon as this thing came out, as soon as it became available. Again, check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order the Spark and the accessories. comes in a variety of colors. Again, at the time of posting this video, I have not received my Spark. I have not flown my Spark. But I'm so geared up that I want y'all to know that it's coming here ASAP. I mean, I got the expensive shipping. And I want to get it as soon as, as soon as possible. Again, I bought the thing. I'm not, I'm not getting pre-release stuff that may or may not represent an accurate representation of how the thing performs. So when I get mine, you will see how it performs for me. And it'll be here soon. I'm counting the days. I haven't received a shipped notification yet, but again, today's the day that it released. What is today? Today is, uh, I got my days mixed up. Today is the 24th of January, February, March, April, May. May the 24th, calendar year 2017. So I'm beyond stoked, and even though it doesn't have 4K, I'm still excited to explore, thoroughly test, and have fun with the other aspects of the drone. And hey, see how the 1080p video looks when I place it in a 4K video project and publish it to YouTube. You know, maybe it's, a, maybe it's acceptable quality, image quality, and video stability. We will see, to be tested, of course. But thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so, youtube.com forward slash iRigSky. Again, check the link within this video's description to find the DJI Spark. Check out my website, 400orbelow.com, if you haven't already and uh, share with others and stay tuned because this is going to be exciting. Everything from the unboxing, first time in the field. Hey, if it breaks or there's technical challenges, troubleshooting videos, you name it, it's all going to be here. So thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.